Dan Rand, Healthier Us, talking about fat doesn't make you fat. There's a lot of studies out there. You can go read them all now, do some research that is debunking this theory of fat makes you fat. It's actually totally the opposite of that. Carbohydrates make you fat. Now, and when we say that, it doesn't mean you can just go eat as much fat as you want. You still got to watch the amount of calories you're having. But instead, lower your carbohydrates, which is going to lower your insulin. When you eat fat, it actually doesn't produce insulin like carbohydrates and proteins do. So you can have more of that. Healthy fats are good for you. Avocados, um, all different kinds of nuts and seeds. You know, even if you're going to have cheese, yeah. you know, that, that's, those are healthy fats for you. So have those as opposed to having more carbohydrates. And the fats, by the way, will help sustain you and keep you feeling fuller for the next meal. So add it in there and it will help you out. There's a, there are tons of studies out there that, that have shown that the carbohydrates are really what make you gain weight. Now, obviously, if you eat 3,000 calories of whatever, you're still going to be gaining weight because you're going to be eating over your calorie allowance for the day, and therefore your body's not going to have any place to store it except for storing it in your fat. Now, the only thing about fat, when you eat fat, is that it is a little bit more calories per gram, let's just say. So I don't even know the exact numbers, but let's just say a gram of carbohydrates is four or five calories, and a gram of fat is nine calories, okay? So yeah, okay, it's a little bit more calories, but again, it's gonna sustain you more, and it's not gonna produce as much insulin. So it's better to have the fat. Like I used to be worried before, before I knew anything, like I don't wanna put mayonnaise on my sandwich because you know mayonnaise is really heavy in fat or I'm gonna get the light mayo now I'm getting like the the fattiest kind of mayonnaise I can get because it's not bad for me the lot, a lot of times the light stuff has more sugar because fat makes it flavorful so instead of putting fat in it they'll put sugar in it well that's worse you don't want sugar it's better to have fat than sugar so get the fat in there it, it's tastier it's gonna help you sustain what you need and keep you going until you get to the next meal so it's better to have the fat. So like it's, it's funny because everywhere you look is like low fat, low fat. Because years ago, there was a whole big thing about um, how they did research and they, and they gave it to doctors that said that fat made people fat. But actually what they did is they took out some of the data that they didn't want anyone to know about. And they only, uh, only published what was beneficial to them. Beneficial to the gigantic carbohydrate industry. So if I could find it, I'll put a link to some of the, the studies that I found out there, it's pretty amazing actually. Almost as if like, you know, cigarettes, when people were smoking cigarettes and it was like, no, they're not bad for you. Everyone knew they were, but no, they're not bad for you. It's totally fine. No big deal. It's fine. It's not going to hurt you. Of course, they didn't want to tell you that because they wanted to sell more product. Just like people that are producing carbohydrates and grains and breads and pastas and all that other stuff, they don't want you to know that it's causing a problem. No, no, it's totally fine. Fat makes you fat. No, fat doesn't make you fat. Do the research.